Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here, and today I have come with a problem on uh, fluid mech and SHM combined. It is particle in a rotating tube. So here is the problem statement: A small particle is released in a rotating tube with constant angular velocity, filled with different liquids on each half of the tube, as shown in the figure. Use the parameters given in the diagram of this problem. Assume no viscous effect. So here there is a bro uh, solid sphere of uh, density rho s and uh, <coughs> this side liquid is rho 1 and this side liquid is rho 2 and uh, it is uh, moving with constant <coughs> angular velocity of omega naught and initial distance of release uh, from the axis is r naught assume no viscous effect we have to answer the following questions in which direction particle will move analyze the motion of particle and uh, maximum speed of particle in the tube maximum magnitude of displacement of particle during the motion and time of return of particle to the initial point all right uh, so here let's uh, discuss with respect to rotating tube we are going to observe this particle so here we can say this centrifugal uh, force corresponding to this we can write x omega square this acceleration uh, will be actually it is towards this right uh, but with respect to rotating frame uh, this will be outside so here we can say this will work as effective gravity uh, and uh, the value is x omega square we can treat this as a variable gravity problem so here this will act like a weight of this uh, particle here mg effective so ms m solid into g into g value is x omega square all right g value is x omega square so if I substitute ms value which is rho s into vs into x omega square and the buoyancy will act towards the axis and the value is rho liquid into volume of solid into acceleration instead of g x omega square will come. So these are the two forces acting on this uh, sphere with respect to you can say with respect to axis and we can see due in the direction of g effective pressure increases in the direction of g effective pressure increases so as we are moving this side uh, away from the axis pressure is more that's the reason net buoyancy will act towards the axis and ball will start moving after release towards the axis now when i analyze the force here and uh, i'll be writing the net restoring force here towards the axis and that will be buoyancy minus uh, effective gravity force so we are going to see here this force is coming proportional to x and it is towards the axis so it gives us the first hint that uh, this motion is nothing uh, but simple harmonic here and particle will be moving towards the axis because rho liquid is given more than rho solid all right after this uh, here we can say f restoring mass into acceleration i can write so this is the mass of solid and acceleration i can write as d2x by dt square so this equation will reduce to a standard equation of uh, shm so here comes the answer of uh, first part we have analyzed the motion and we have the idea how this particle is going to move so effective omega we can say here uh, the omega of shm it is nothing but root of rho l minus rho s by rho s times omega naught now we can see here uh, let's say if uh, time taken by this ball from here to here is t1 and it crosses other side because it is accelerating the moment it will cross this point now it will start decelerating and it will reach somewhere here uh, let's say these distances are r naught and other side it is a2 and corresponding times are t1 from here to here and t2 from here to here so <coughs> omega of shm i can write here in terms of uh, omega of uh, axis that is root of rho l minus rho s by rho s times omega naught so uh, this is uh, one fourth of the time period of uh, shm so once it will come back double of this similarly here shm time period one fourth and uh, time of uh, this is also uh, one fourth of total time period so we can say here uh, this time t1 from one side it is uh, nothing but 2 pi by omega divided by 4 so this will become pi by 2 omega 1 and this will become pi by 2 omega 2 so time of return from here we can say uh, t1 t2 t2 and t1 so it will become uh, 2 t1 plus t2 when i substitute the value of t1 and t2 i am going to get this as the answer pi by omega naught times 
root of rho solid by rho 1 minus rho s plus uh, rho s by rho 2 minus rho s. Similarly here maximum speed this will come at the axis when particle will cross so I can use the standard SHM uh, result V max is equal to A omega and uh, here you can say A is R naught and uh, this is omega of SHM for the right part. So omega 1 omega naught times root of rho 1 minus rho s by rho s. Similarly here when particle is uh, moving other side let's say the displacement is uh, A2. So uh, V max we can equate V max is equal to A1 omega 1 and that should be equal to A2 omega 2 as well. So from here A2 we can calculate as omega 1 by omega 2 times A1. Alright and uh, here you can check uh, this is the value of omega 1 uh, and omega 2 we can write corresponding to each liquid. So I'll be getting this uh, A2 as omega 1 by omega 2 ratio value if you substitute this will come as R0 times root of rho 1 minus rho naught by rho 2 minus rho naught. And from here maximum displacement I can write from here to here it is R0 and then this A2. So R0 plus A2 or A1 plus A2 will be the maximum displacement and it will keep oscillating here. So R0 uh, plus R0 times root of rho 1 minus rho naught by rho 2 minus rho naught. We are assuming size of uh, this ball is uh, negligible. So that's it guys. I think uh, all answers we have given. So here guys you can get up to 33% off on uh, uh, your uh, subscription at uh, Unacademy. You can have uh, 3 months plus 1 month uh, at some price and similarly in 6 months also price reduction is there and 12 months plus 3 months also some price uh, reduction or extra months are given. You can uh, subscribe to Unacademy using my code Nathan sir if you want to study with me and uh, yes this uh, like for past uh, many many days you must be hearing about Unacademy Prodigy so this 27th is the last uh, exam of Prodigy and it will be at 10 a.m. and uh, you can use uh, my code Nathan sir for enrolling uh, in this exam. So guys that's it in this video I hope you have enjoyed and it would have uh, you know I feel it, it's a nice problem good conceptual problem and uh, fully or partially it may come in J advanced type of exam. So that's it in this video thank you thanks for watching it.